Hello magical folks, I'm Sarah Lynn and today I have an unboxing of the Witchcraft's Ways October the W Box. Um, October's theme is a spellbound Samhain, so let's get into it. So the W Box comes in this nice um, discreet black box that just says the W Box on it with a big W on the front. Let's get in here. There is the website if you want to check it out yourself. Here is the list of everything that comes in the box. Okay, and the first thing I see is the planchette pendulum board, which is pretty cool. I have um, several pendulums. Looks like there's some sticker stuck on mine. There we go. And maybe a little dirt here that I might be able to clean off. But it is made of wood. It's by Zen and Meow, um, which is a really cool shop that I've checked out before. Um, they have a lot of really neat stuff. It looks like the sides are stained. And it's nicely carved. And you can use this with your pendulum. And here's my pendulum. It's my smoky quartz pendant with a St. Christopher from Hawaii. And so you would lay this flat and swing your pendulum over it to give you yes or no answers or um, to spell out words or numbers for you. It's really nicely done. Hopefully I can get that to clean off, but I'm quite happy with that. And the next thing is from the Witchcraft Way, the Ties That Bind Ancestor Connection Spell Kit. A call to honor your departed ancestors and friends. So this is one thing I really like about the W box is they include little spell kits. And I will read the little thing here. Samhain is the perfect time for honoring ancestors. And this kit gives you all the tools you need to set a place in your home for your loved ones now departed. And during Samhain, uh, the veils between the worlds are thinner and people tend to um, honor their ancestors. So there's a little card here and it tells you about the spell and then you can go onto their website to see the full spell. Um, it says August spell, but this is the October box. So um, that might be a typo, but here it is if you want to try it out yourself. So it comes with a black candle, an orange candle, um, which are these two. It says it comes with a piece of string, but I do not see that. Let me see if it's under here. It looks like I might be missing the piece of string I'm supposed to have. Um, it did come with casting herbs, but it doesn't say what exactly is in it. It might say on the full um, spell online, and it comes with a black crystal. Sorry, but again, it doesn't say what this is. A little disappointing that I didn't get the string that goes with it, but still very cool. I have lots of string because um, I do a lot of crafting, so not too big of a deal. All right, next I have blends of the Bayou Southern Rootwork Graveyard Dirt Authentic Spiritual Products, and we have two ounces of it. Let's see what the what the box has to say about it. It says this is gathered and paid for by traditional Southern Hoodoo standards from the Maker's Family Cemetery, which houses family spirits that are welcome and helpful. So it looks like this is actual graveyard dirt that's been ethically um, harvested. So that's pretty cool. Authentic spiritual products. Okay, next. Um, where do I want to go next? We have Sea Witch Botanicals Onyx Shimmering Black Vegan Lip and Cheek Tint. That sounds pretty neat. Let's see if I can get this open. It does have a seal here, but it should be able to open on the other side. Ah, you have to twist it. And this is uh, a shimmering lip and cheek tint with a rich black hue. Perfect for your Samhain look, vegan, and made completely out of natural butters, oils, and waxes. So let me try that out on my hand here for you guys. Okay, so it's nice and subtle. Um, 
obviously you can build up on it with several layers. I think that would be really nice for a really subtle um, black lip look. I don't know about putting it on your cheeks. Um, it would be nice on your eyes, but I don't know if it's safe around your eyes. So I wouldn't try that. <laughs> okay. And here... Or what we've got here. Let me take a look. Looks like this is soap. Ancient Wisdom Soap. I like the sticker that came on it. So this is from Spirit Element. Okay, it does have a little description inside here. This is Petrified Wood Bath Bar for Ancestral Connection. And it's by Spirit Element. Let's take a look at the little bar. I actually like that it's such a small bar because I never um, tend to use these, uh, never tend to use specialty soaps. So I feel like this won't be wasted. Um, I could actually use this whole bar. Um, plus, it, since it's so um, specific for uh, a certain type of work, you know. I don't work that much with my ancestors, so I probably won't need the full bar, um, or at least I won't go through it very fast, but I'm sure you can buy more um, from their website. Okay, ooh, this I like. This is a bloodstone point, and it is gorgeous. See all the variation in the stone here. I love points. Let's see here. Bloodstone is the perfect stone for Samhain. It is an excellent protector and can keep negative energies away while the veil is thin. It is also a great motivator to set goals for the new year. Which is great because this Samhain, especially, the veil will be extra thin because of the blue moon that is occurring on Halloween on the 31st. Okay, and I think this is the last item here and probably what I'm most excited for because I love pendulums. So since they sent us a pendulum board, they also sent us a pendulum to use with the board. Let's see if I can get this open. The pendulums are a magical way to connect with your higher spiritual self and other spirits. Use it with your new planchette pendulum board during Samhain or any time. It looks like mine might also... Uh, it's not quite bloodstone. I'm not sure. It looks like there is um, a variety of different pendulums that you could have gotten. I'm not sure what stone this one is. I'll have to look it up later. But it's very pretty and it's unlike anything I have already. So I like that. It has a clear bead on the end. This chain looks pretty nice and sturdy. Um, I have had trouble with pendulums having... Um, just cheaper chains that rust or break really easily. One thing I would say um, is to switch out this ring that's connecting the two together. It's a little jump ring and it, um, it just doesn't look very sturdy. I have my own hardware that I'll probably switch that out with. Also because of the way it is closed, um, it's probably going to make the pendulum hang a little uneven. But I'll go ahead set this over the spirit board here Let's see can you show me yes you can see it swaying over to yes over here okay can you show me no there it is swinging over to no can you show me hello there it is swinging up towards hello and then, can you show me goodbye? There it is, swinging down towards goodbye here. So that's how pendulums work. Um, mine, I've, I haven't used a board before. Mine usually swing up and down for yes and side to side for no. Um, let's see. Can you show me yes? It's hard to tell on camera, but let's see. Can you show me no? 
those. Pendulums are one of my favorite, um, along with tarot, which I'm currently learning. So really happy about this. I'm really glad I chose um, this box out of all boxes to be my first W box. Um, I love Samhain, and I just knew I had to have this. I'll answer it. Um, I'll try to get a vertical shot of the pendulum working so you can see how that works. But that is what was in this W box. We got our pendulum board, our pendulum to go with the pendulum board, a nice bloodstone tower. We got our ancestral um, wisdom soap to help us connect with loved ones who have passed. We got our spell kit, which um, was very nice, though it was missing the string. Here are the two candles. I always love having black candles. Uh, I'm not sure what the orange candle is for in this box. I'll have to look up the spell. I know I like using orange candles for creativity and success in creative uh, endeavors. And then we have our herb mix which it looks like there's at least a clove in there. We have our black crystal, which I will look up and add what that is. And then we have our box with no string. So that's a bummer, but again, um, not too big of a deal. I have plenty of string I can use on my own. Just a little sad that um, it didn't come in the kit like it was supposed to. And then we have this really, really pretty lip tint that I'm excited to use and the graveyard dirt. Um, it just said where it came from. It doesn't say what uh, graveyard dirt is good for, which is a little disappointing. Um, but I am excited to have this and incorporate it into my practices after some more research. But yeah, so that is October's um, Spellbound Samhain W Witchcraft Way Box. Let's see, there is a little extra here from them. Samhain, such a magical and mysterious Sabbath, also known as the Witch's New Year. It's a time that marks the division between the light, the warmer, brighter days, and the dark, the long and colder nights. We celebrate Samhain as the third and final harvest, and it represents a time in the cycle of life when death prevails and the energies of life lay dormant. The sun god dies and is returned to the underworld until his return at Yule as the goddess mourns his death. Samhain is a time when the veil between worlds is thinnest, and at Samhain feast, it is not uncommon to set an extra place for your ancestors so that they may join in on the festivities with you. This October, we invite you to step into your power during Samhain. We invite you to enjoy this blend of ceremonial, self-care, and useful invocation items that will help you prefer prepare for the Samhain season and celebrate. We are so honored to be part of your Samhain celebration this year. Blessings from the WW team from Witchcraft Way. All right. And here's anything. Here's this again if you wanted to read anything on that. And I will be back with a little more information on um, these items. All right, magical folks, here is how the lip tint looks on. Um, I did also put a little on my cheeks. I don't know how noticeable it, it is. Um, it does seem kind of odd to put a dark color on your cheeks because usually you would highlight that. So it does, um, in real life, make me look a little, uh, what's the word, dead? <laughs> it's a little ghoulish. That was what I was looking for little ghoulish um it might be nice to put a highlight over it but it's um kind of odd i am liking how it looks on the lips though i think that's very nice um as for the stones actually so i was correct in that the um the august spell link is for their august box um i tried the september spell so uh, witchcraft way slash dot com slash September spell, but that was for their September box and the October spell link is not active. Um, it led me to an error page not found. So it looks like not only is that a typo, but they have not 
um, released the spell yet, even though the it's October and the boxes are being shipped out and delivered. Um, so I'm not sure what the herbs are in the herb satchel, but uh, I believe the stone is black tourmaline. Um, and then for the pendulum, um, I'm not sure. I'll have to see it in the sunlight tomorrow, but um, best guess right now is that it is um, nephrite jade. And let me see if at this angle I can show you a little better how the pendulum swings. Um, I like to do it over my hand. You can just do it in the air. You can do it over a spirit board. Um, you can do it over anything, any way, uh, any way you like. I, I tend to like to hold it under my hand. Um, you want to hold it from the very tip of the chain. If you hold it from the middle, it might not swing as well, although this one seems quite eager to swing. Um, but the best practice is to hold it from the very tip. Um, and you want to hold it however over or not over whatever you want. Like I said, I like to do my hand because it gives an extra connection um, between the pendulum and myself to, to connect our energies. And then you ask, can you show me yes? You can see which way that's swinging there. It's swinging towards my fingers. Say, okay, thank you. Can you show me no? This one's very responsive. You can see that it's now swinging um, towards the side of my hand and my thumb instead. Thank you. Can you show me maybe? So you can see, I'm not sure how well you can tell, but it's now kind of going in a circle a little bit. Um, my pendulums tend to not like to show me maybe. Um, I haven't, again, I haven't tried it with a pendulum board, but um, typically they stick to yes or no and they give me yes or no answers. Um, it can be a little more tedious to work with them that way, but I find, uh, I find that's the most clear way to work with them and that's how my pendulums prefer to work, but I mean, you saw with the board, um, it was more than happy to point to yes or no or up to swinging up to hello or down to goodbye. Um, so I don't know if that's just because this one's eager to work with me or if all my pendulums would be comfortable doing that, but um, it, it's really, it's going to be different to every person. Some people, their pendulums, uh, mine tend to just uh, sit still when they're at rest. This one's a little fidgety, but that's probably more because of me than it. Um, some people's this is swing wildly like this in a circle um, while it's waiting for questions. Um, I tend to, I'll either stiffen my hand like that, tense up my muscles to get it to stop swinging in between questions, or I'll, I'll actually grab it to return it to a neutral point before asking questions. That way, um, I can be sure I'm getting a clear yes or no. Um, yeah, there's your little bonus lesson on pendulums. Um, you can use a board like this, or you can make your own. I'm working on one that's a glass plate um, uh, based off of a tutorial from the Lipstick Craft Legion. I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll put her link down below. I love her stuff. Um, she's really great for um, beginner friendly stuff, budget witch stuff. Um, she does a lot of DIYs, witchy DIYs with di um, Dollar Tree items, which is really cool. And um, I'm working on a pendulum board that she did on a glass plate. And it has yes this way, no this way, maybe, and then unsure. And hers also has the phases of the moon, which I really like. So you can ask your pendulum, you know, um, what what type, what time, what moon phase would be best for the spell I'm working. Um, you can do lots of other things. You could do astrology signs, you know, like um, should I wait until the moon is in Aries, such as the last full moon was, or... Um, you could do day, night, um, you could do a whole clock, you could do all sorts of kind of things with pendulum boards, um, according to what you need with your craft. Um, 
you can also use them with tarot cards or other um, divination sets. Um, I have, this is my, my everyday pendulum that I use um, just whenever I need help with my own intuition, but both my tarot decks have um, a designated pendulum that asks to work with that deck, and um, that can be really helpful if you're not sure about your tarot card reading, you can ask your pendulum to help um, clarify it since the pendulum is usually so much um, more clear in yes or no answers than your typical tarot deck. Um, might be a little more confusing, so you can ask, you know, am I interpreting this the right way? Is this what the cards are trying to tell me? That kind of thing. Or you can use your pendulum to help you pick which card. Um, I like to use that to, if I'm not sure like what candle to use, I'll lay them out and I'll go over each one and get the yes or no for which candle to use. Um, so there's just uh, like an unlimited way to use pendulums. You can help use them to help you locate something. Um, like I just moved, so I'll take my pendulum into the garage to try and find um, what box the object I'm looking for is in. Um, the pendulum doesn't always know, and usually it's pretty uh, straightforward with me and say, I'm sorry, I don't know where that is. Um, but yeah, they're really handy. Um, I just really like pendulums and I really connect with them. And so if you're interested, I would definitely suggest getting one to try out. Um, it doesn't have to be a crystal on a chain. It can be a necklace. It doesn't even, you know, mine, mine happens to be a crystal, but it's also got the St. Christopher. Um, she actually asked to, my quartz here, asked to be kept with the St. Christopher. Um, it can be a coin, um, or just anything heavy on a chain or string that has weight to it that's going to move. Um, it can be a pendulum, so it doesn't have to be a crystal. It could be a bead. You can make one super easy from materials from the Dollar Tree or just stuff that's around your house. So definitely check that out too. If that's something you're interested in, um, maybe I'll put up some DIY videos on different ways to make pendulums. That could be fun. You can make them out of resin. Um, there's molds that you can get on Etsy for that. But yeah, um, there's your little bonus pendulum uh, lesson. Thank you for sticking with me and checking out the W box with me. I'm really happy with everything that I got. Um, it was a really great box for me and I'm glad I got it. So thank you for coming along with me. Have a good one and stay magical.